So this morning I woke up, check on the plants that I have going in the bathroom, and I found aphids. So what we're going to talk about is natural pest control, safe methods that you can use in the garden. You ever heard of this stuff? It's pretty incredible. See them on there? Oh yeah, this one's got it bad. So what you need is some of this. This is made from diatoms. They're tiny fossils. It's also known as fossil shell flower. And one of these. <laughs> Put some of this into here and then you can dust your plants. So now we're gonna take this duster, it's filled with the fossil shell flower. We're gonna go through, we're gonna dust the plants. Wherever we see those aphids or any kind of pest. Be sure to get under the leaves where those little buggers like to hide. So the really nice thing about using this in the garden is that it's non-toxic. It's actually food safe because this is food grade. Um, but it can be very drying. You don't want to really get it on your skin too much. You want to wash your hands if you do. And you definitely don't want to breathe it in. Personally, I have found this product to be very effective in all kinds of things, all kinds of different pest controls. I was dealing with some uh, poisonous spiders invading a shed, some black widows, and uh, dusted the area and this seemed to take care of it. I haven't found any there for some time now. So it's the next day. These are the plants that I dusted yesterday. I'm gonna check them for aphids. There's one. Much better than it was yesterday. So what I'm gonna do with these today, I'm gonna give them a good washing, give them some water, and then I'm gonna dust them again. We'll really take care of that problem then, and hopefully at that point they'll be okay. And go ahead and plant them in the garden. So these plants did get a little dried out from the DE and also a little bit of lack of water and also aphids can be very drying. They kind of suck the moisture right out of the plants. So gave them a wash this morning. We're going to let them sit for some time and going to come back and check on them in a bit and see how they're doing. And these plants over here seem to handle the dusting just fine. They 
are not dried out like the other ones were. It's been around an hour since washing them. They're kind of perking back up now. I'm gonna give them a little more time before I dust them again. And I might wind up taking off some of these dried leaves that are kind of curling in. I decided to move the plants to a cooler spot. And I've been looking, not finding any aphids at this point. But I still plan to do one more dusting overnight. Because we really want to be sure that might be one right there. Okay, so we'll check them in a bit and I'm pretty sure we're gonna dust them just one more time. So it's about five hours later. The plants have really recovered. They're quite happy at this point. And I've been inspecting. I'm not seeing any aphids. But we are gonna do one more light dusting. Be sure to get under the leaves. So I'm going to leave them like this overnight. The plants are doing so well now. Completely recovered from their aphid attack. And we even put the eggplant into the ground. I'll continue to keep an eye on them, just to be sure that no issue comes back. What do you think, Dutchie? It's really shaping up to be a beautiful day. Definitely be coming out here and doing more work in just a little bit. <laughs> 